Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I thought that I would do a where have I been update video while doing my makeup. Am I going anywhere? No, I am just procrastinating and I thought why not do some makeup and talk to my cell phone um, to kind of get my foot back in the door of YouTube because I dropped the ball big time. I went to Target a couple days ago and I bought a whole bunch of products. Some of them I've used before, some of them I haven't to, you know, start spring off with a fresh face of makeup um, to, you know, whatever, boost my confidence at school. That's the only time I really wear makeup is at school. I'm going to start doing my makeup. I'm going to update you with things along the way and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so my face is clean. Um, I'm going to start with the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte and it's probably backwards because I'm using the front camera on my phone. Um, I just bought this and I've never tried it before but I have oily skin. It's in the shade Soft Sable so hopefully this matches my skin tone. So I have been very MIA the past couple of months because I am one of those people, oh, <laughs> I am one of those people who I did not expect this to be so watery, who when things get busy and things get tough, I kind of choose something that, you know, is on my plate and I get rid of it, okay? Instead of adjusting and doing what, you know, a, a person should do, and um, just balancing better, I just give something up. And unfortunately, this time that was YouTube. So um, one of my New Year's resolutions was to stop doing that. And so this is my attempt, you know, in April to stop doing that. Well, this is really light, but hopefully it'll brighten back up once I do the rest of it. Um, but yeah, one of my New Year's resolutions was to stop doing that. So this is me getting back into the game with a foundation that's a little bit too light. But um, yeah, so where have I been? I have been working. I got engaged. So I got engaged in November to the love of my life. We met in college through mutual friends. Um, this is the infallible full wear L'Oreal concealer and it is in the shade Walnut. Okay. Um, anyway, so yeah, we met in college through some mutual friends and we'd known each other for a couple of years before we started dating. Um, so things moved a little bit quicker with us because we were pretty comfortable with each other already and we knew each other. Um, so we got engaged three days before our one year dating anniversary and it was like the best day of my life so far and we went to Asheville for our anniversary which is one of our favorite places in North Carolina to go in the mountains and we had a very great weekend and then we came back and he said that we were doing dinner but it was the afternoon so I was like how are you going to do dinner and it's literally two o'clock or 12 o'clock whatever time it was and um, so I knew something was up and so that made me nervous. I was freaking out about my makeup and my clothes and my hair wasn't done and all this stuff, but you know, the important things were done. Eyebrows were there, nails were done. So when we got to our apartment and I was getting ready, I was stalling because you know, I was a little bit nervous and then we left and he gave me coordinates to a place. So I was on Google trying, I look like a ghost. I was on Google trying to figure out where we were going and finally I figured out we were going to this park that we had been going to pretty consistently um, over the past couple of weeks. And we get there and we're walking and he's talking to me basically about his plans for my proposal because you know I kind of knew it was coming 
Um, I just didn't know it was coming so soon. So he was talking about his plans and making it seem like things weren't working out um, and that it would be a later date for when we got engaged, even though at this point I was like pretty certain that it was happening that day. And um, shoot, I cannot get this open. Um, this is the True Complexion Contour Palette in the light to medium version. I love this thing. I really only use like one color out of here, but I still love it. Um, but anyway, so he was telling me all his plans and basically making it seem like they weren't going to work out. So then we're walking and we're getting to this bridge over this like small lake that's on, on the, at the park. And I see a whole bunch of people and they look like people that I know so I immediately burst into tears and I'm like crying going crazy like no this is not happening right now like I'm excited obviously but in disbelief so um yeah so I'm crying and I'm walking up and I see like all of my closest family and friends and you know some of his friends as well and family and they all have index cards with quotes from the notebook on them which is my favorite movie and he knows I love that movie I, I literally have a quote if you're a bird I'm a bird from the notebook tattooed on my body like that's how much I love the movie so I'm crying and walking down the line of my friends listening to them read the quotes and then we get to the bridge and there's roses in the shape of a heart on rose petals and he drops down to one knee and proposes and I'm crying and I look a mess and then we went to on the border for lunch because everybody was starving and that's my favorite place to eat so yeah it was a really a really great day like he couldn't have done it any perfect like I love him so much he's the bomb y'all I'm so excited like he is mine forever <laughs> so so yeah so that was my proposal our wedding date is in 2020 in may so i have been planning a wedding on top of you know lesson plans and that's a little stressful but we're getting there and yeah so i thought that would be fun you know as i continue my channel to kind of document our process of planning our wedding and take you along in case you are also planning a wedding or you eventually end up planning one um for my finishing powder i'm not a makeup person y'all i'm using the black radiance soft focus finishing powder i'm just going to take this with the same brush that i set my concealer in i'm gonna just go all over this stuff is so powdery that was that i'm excited um that's my personal life i'm getting married which is crazy this looks kind of light but I guess I guess it's fine my school year has been pretty good my kids are showing the most growth they have ever shown in my year as a teacher y'all don't pick on my eyebrows I know I don't have any in my years as a teacher they are killing it um we had a little bit of a situation this year for my brows i'm trying this new thing called brow stylist frame and set it's l'oreal color 215 deep brunette it's like a pomade i think is what they're called and i've never used one of these before so bear with me we are departmentalized at the school where i teach and all that means is that Typically in grades three, four, and five, um, one person or one teacher will teach math and the other teacher will teach reading, okay? Um, so I had a partner teacher and her and her boyfriend decided to move to Washington, D.C. So that left me all alone. And in March, oh, that's not so bad. In March at, you know, my school, it's nearly impossible to find a replacement teacher. So my principal came up with the idea to 
um, make me self-contained. So my whole second block, so I had two blocks of kids, had to be dispersed among the fourth grade classes. So I got four of her kids and I kept my entire homeroom. And then now I teach my homeroom reading and math. Um, Y'all, this is hard to do on camera. Y'all, okay, so I, I need to do this one and then I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. My eyebrows are, you know, I think they're fixed. They might not be tear liking, but oh well. Um, anyway, where was I? Oh, okay, so we're departmentalized. My partner teacher decided to leave, you know, which is, which is her prerogative to leave go to Washington DC like good for her um so self-contained I teach my kids all subjects all day and it might sound like don't other teachers do that yes in fact they do but as a teacher who is not used to doing that to switch to that in March of a school year is really difficult and I took it hard um I was very over emotional about it to be honest and I was just super overwhelmed. I'm using a really old, the Nudes um, Maybelline palette. It's like real old for a little bit of shadow. Now I am self-contained, which at this point I am okay with. I actually like it better than being departmentalized. Ow. Oh. I like it better than being departmentalized. My students and I have developed a nice relationship, you know, in this bonding experience that we were put into. And yeah, I kind of want to do it again next year. We'll see what happens, whether it happens or not. But I wouldn't mind it if I did have to. Sorry, all the sun is doing weird things and it's going all over the place. Um, if I have to do that again. So yeah that's that I teach all subjects now and reading is not my favorite but like I said my kids and I have developed a serious bond at this point and I get teary-eyed sometimes just thinking about the fact that I'm going to have to let them go at the end of the school year it really makes me sad so I updated you on me getting married. I updated you on my school situation. Um, besides that, not much has really been going on, you know? Just trying to get in shape. Oh my gosh, that to me is the hardest part of my life at this point. Because as a very active younger person, I never had to lose weight. I was always fine and now that I have to lose weight I mean I don't have to lose weight but I would like to lose weight I'm just having a really hard time figuring out what to do what to eat so I've been doing Weight Watchers and maybe I'll kind of update y'all with that too whenever I get some real results it doesn't look half bad actually whenever I get some real results I don't ever do eyeliner um, I bought some Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline is the Pumped Up Colossal in Glam Black. I'm going to pop that on super quick. Also, my foundation is definitely too light. I have some darker foundation that I'm going to have to probably start mixing with it, which is fine. I don't mind doing that. Um, but, you know, like I said, I'm not going anywhere, so it's good for now. It actually looks really good on camera, but when I went in my bathroom... It didn't look like this. Looked, I looked a little ghostly. And I literally just put it on all willy-nilly. Now my back is starting to hurt. We'll see if there's a difference. Kind of. Can anyone put their mascara on with their mouth closed? If you can, let me know 
how you manage that. Because I obviously don't have that skill down pack yet. Oh yeah. So yeah, that is, nope, that's not it. I have one more thing to do. I have this highlighter. I've had it so long, the like label is worn off. So I don't know where I got it from, who it's by, but I love it. And I just pop that on my nose and down this little area. I might need a little bit more. So yeah, um, I think I'm done updating you. I got engaged. I'm self-contained. I'm going to start doing this YouTube thing again and be consistent with it. And yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really motivated right now. Fingers crossed it stays that way. But I really have high hopes for this channel and for me and for my marriage and for losing weight. And I'm just like new year, even though it's April, new me type of thing. You know, not really. Anyway, um, so yeah. I am probably going to start a week in my life tomorrow and I will keep y'all updated with, you know, how I review for the EOG with my kids at the end of the school year, how I wrap up the school year, what I do during the summer to prep for the upcoming school year. And yeah, tomorrow we're back from spring break. It's going to be a lot of fun a lot of hard work and we're going to finish off 2018 2019 school year strong thank you for bearing with me thank you for watching please like this video if you like it subscribe tell your friends tell your teacher friends tell your students tell whomever about my channel also i started instagram a while ago called tales of a fourth grade something which i will link below Follow that too to stay more in touch and in tune with what I'm doing on a day to day basis. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, do all those good things and thank you for watching.